Good morning. Just trying to organize myself as usual. As usual. How are we doing, everyone? Oh, I gotta fix my sweater. Hello, hello. I have like my sweater and my blanket on because I'm freezing. I'm always freezing. It's retarded. That's stupid. I'm sorry. I take that back. It's stupid. Never mind. So happy Krampus Day. Look, I have my Krampus sweater on today. Look at it. Isn't he awesome? I'm just so excited to wear this today. All right. So let's see here. We um, have a new, I got a new deck. I got the dark side of tarot, a new to me. So we are going to dive into this together. So I have to open it up. How's everyone doing? Are we getting into our holiday groove or what? I'm probably more on the or what side. I don't know. Not going to lie. This time of year isn't like my favorite. But I love doing the stuff for the kids and all that stuff. So this is what we do. And I do like Yule. And Krampus Day. Like, Krampus, Merry Krampus. Like, this, like, I wish I was in Germany to go to the parade. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Can't have it all. We can't have it all. Thank you. I have to do my tea here. I'm not drilling myself. I'm trying to them. Oh, hi, Aura. All right, so... Today, um, I wanted to do, like I said, I'm going to, this is a new to me deck. I just opened it, just took the plastic off. It's the dark side of tarot and Sasha wrote the companion book. It's a low scarabeo. Um, so we're going to dive into this bad boy and see what we got. Oh, so much things to open. This plastic on the decks kills me kills me and I have my special little tool to open it with. This is what I do. So what else is going on? Our winter issue is off to the printers doing its thing. So that's exciting. Oh, this is, you know, it's funny. Los Carabello always has like these extra like cards. They always put like these little like extra cards. These are kind of cool looking. And then also too, what I wanted to do is use, I have these like major arcana buttons and these are for, um, from Karen, like tea by tea with Karen or for Karen. I'll tag it. And she makes all these fun little things. And you know, I always have to, you know, partake in all the, the fun divination situations so those are all majors too. And I kind of thought that that would be kind of a cool thing to do, especially because we have our full moon in Gemini on Wednesday. So we have that coming up. So it is our last full moon of the year. So if we're going to release some shit, this is the one to do it on. And Gemini being like, you know, a very cerebral, um, sign of the zodiac too like it's really like this is the time to do the brain dump to get rid of everything release it all last full moon of the year in gemini let's do this let's do this folks i'm gonna have to do something yeah they're cute they're like cute little buttons i mean they don't have like they don't they're just regular just buttons but they're kind of like, I mean, I think they're kind of cute too. And I like too that like, you could probably like pull one of these a day and even like put it in your pocket or your wallet or something just to kind of like keep that, keep that in mind. Look at the back of these. I do like these. Very pretty. But first of all, I'm going to just do a little, little separating and shuffling because like I said, I just opened this because you know, I like to do that. We, we, I love to take you on my tarot card journeys. It's just what it is, friends. It's just what it is. 
So does anyone um have anything that they are planning for the full moon? Maybe thinking about it. Or Krampus Day. Is anyone doing for Merry Krampus Day? I feel like I have to do something. I don't know what. Put a mask on and stomp around. <laughs> I don't know. Chase some little kids. <laughs> oh, it sounds kind of funny, though, I have to say. So. And, yes, you know, I know I say it like every... Good morning, Maya. Las, Las Vegas, Maya. That's who we get today. Um... You know, I will, I am going to start lining up some interviews. I know I keep saying that, but damn, life has really been something. It's been something late. Like the last few months, I don't even know. <laughs> Just, I'm trying, guys. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, yeah, so it's like one of those things like you just, yes, that's what I said. We're getting Las Vegas Maya today. You know, it's like one of those things like you just finally, things are kind of crazy and you finally kind of get back into the swing of it. And then the holidays happen and it's like, that was funny. That was, that was funny, funny, very big joke. So yeah, I'm trying friends. We'll get there. I have so many, like, we'll get there. I promise. <laughs> um, also too, um, if you are in West Palm Beach, you're in the Florida area. Next month is StarCon. Um, and it is also virtual. So you definitely want to check it out. Um, you know, Christiana and her husband and her team, they put so much work into this. And really to make sure that it's like this all-encompassing experience. So you definitely want to check that out. Um, I will be I will be going to West Palm Beach. I'm going to be speaking at you know West Palm Beach. And Amber, are you speaking? You are too, right? I think I saw your your picture pop up on the thing. So um, and Amber will be coming to us. I'm assuming virtual. So that's kind of cool too. That we're kind of getting this mix of a little bit of everything, and you do get to in the Acla events. I think that's how you say it. You get to. Um, you can access it for like 30 days afterwards and you can kind of go in there and it's all this like, it, it's a cool platform. Um, there's like, okay, cool. It's a cool platform. Um, and there's like groups and chats and, and then some people even doing some speaking in there, um, which I might do. I might do. I know she asked me and I probably will. Um, I think at that point I was like, I just, yeah, okay, like, I'll worry about this later. <laughs> so who knows what's going to happen. Um, I did do, I yeah, she's doing, like, a variety show, so I did do that. And then Frank, um, I don't know, say so his last name, he's doing something with quotes. Um, so I did that, too. So there's just all sorts of things happening. It's, it's a lot of fun. So there is that going on. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, last year, hi there, Peggy Lou. Um, last year I did get into a room that was a little like, uh, um, I think everybody was just good friends. And then here's Jen. Hi. And they're all like, who, who are you? So it was actually pretty funny and <laughs> I had to laugh about it, but yes. Um, you know, and then the chats on the side are nice. And then as even people are talking, there's the chats going on. So you can kind of you know, really talk. I do like that. So, so yeah. Um, and also too, if you want to make sure to get a subscription, I do believe we do have some subscriptions left, right, Amber? And then the winter issue you want to hop on, um, you can do that, you know, an e-zine or e-zine, whatever. I like e-zine. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm trying to, I'm looking at my calendar, trying to figure it out. Um, oh, I'm going to be on Tarot Takeaways on Soultopia on, um, Friday if you want to come hang around. I think we're doing the Ace of Wands, which I really like the Ace of Wands, so that makes me happy. I think that's it. I think that's it, folks. I don't know. If I think of something, I'll just, you know, come out with it. But let us, let us begin. I'm going to, so I'm going to be pulling a card and a button. 
um, our major arcana button. So this too, I really want to focus on maybe what we want to release for this moon phase, like for this last full moon. What do we need to focus on? That's kind of the intention I'm setting for this. Let's do it. All right. So here you go, Aries. We have this nine of cups. So, you know, things... As you're rounding up your new year, Aries, I think you need to kind of take a minute and look back, like look back and see how, what are all the good things that has happened for you this year? What has, you know, definitely um, worked out for you? I think that's where you need to focus your energy, but also, you know, we're not quite to the 10, so there is that one cup. So what is that one cup? What do you need to make, like, what do you need to release to make room in your life to get to that one cup at the beginning of the year? Something to ponder. I think that's something really good to meditate on, too. Okay, let me put these over here. So let's button. Ooh, we got judgment. And I think we can, oh, see, if I kind of tilt it, I know there's a little glare. So we got judgment. And I feel like that, I actually like this with um, what I was just saying too, because it's looking back and again, looking at all the things you've accomplished and not judging yourself harshly. So judgment to me is really about self, um, you know, like a self judgment, but not in a harsh way. And just kind of a, you know, as if you were like a judge and you're separating that emotion and you're like, okay, so this worked, this didn't. Let's see what we can do about it. So I really think that's important to keep in mind, Aries. So if you'd like me to pull a card for you, definitely um, let me know. Um, go to the question mark bu bubble. Oh, temple bells. I like that. Yeah, th those and the charms. It's just like it is like an ASMR thing. It for sure is. All right, so... Let's stroll right into Taurus. All right. I'm just looking at this card. So Taurus, we have this seven of swords. No, wait. Six of swords. Yeah, this is six of swords. Why am I looking? I'm like, wait a minute. That looks wrong. So six of swords. So Taurus, it, this is basically like, you know what? You have a lot to let go of. And to leave in 2022, so take advantage of this year, you know, this, sorry, this full moon and really release some stuff. And so since they're the swords, which are, you know, that thought, the air element, um, limiting beliefs, limiting thoughts, being harsh to yourself, like I feel like that's what you really need to let go of, Taurus. And that's going to put you outside of kind of your comfort zone, but that's okay because you need that. And that will kind of clear the slate for you to jump into 2023. That's what I'm going with. All right, let's see. Oh, fun. All right. So let's see. What major card is it? Oh, I got the lovers. So I really think for this one, though, it's more about your relationship with yourself. So I think going into this new year, Taurus, it would be really good for you to release any self-doubt so that you can start to work on building up your confidence, your intuition, and all of those th new good things in the newer year. All right. Let's see. Hello. Let's see what we got. Peggy Lou. All right. Let's get you a card then. Ooh, we have the Queen of Cups. So for this week, Peggy, I think it's really important for you to step into your emotions, to to give your emotions some attention. Um, give yourself some empathy, give others some empathy, because whatever is however this week's flow going to flow for you, emotion is what is the key and is how you 
harness your emotion, how you control your emotion, and how you, you know, express your emotion to others. So I think that's really what's important for you this week. That's a good one. I like that one. All right. So brings us to Gemini on this almost Gemini full moon. I have Gemini. I have two Geminis in my house. Like they're all over the place. They're just everywhere. Lots of talking happens in my house. All right. So let's see what we got. Ooh, Gemini the Fool. This is all about new beginnings for you. So what a card to get as we're talking about moving into the new year, right? What is it that you can like move out of the way so that you can step into your new year fresh and ready to go and to start new things and get things moving? Um, you know, and I think it's also about Gemini trusting the universe, trusting in whatever higher thing you trust you, you believe in because Gemini, you know, the, you know, especially with that full change is happening and trying to over control it and as a Gemini overthink it, right? Gemini's overthink. We don't want to overthink. So we want to make sure that we are just really stepping into our intuition as this goes on. Oh, awesome. Oh, I love that, Peggy. That's awesome. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's see what we're getting here. Yeah, for sure. So, ooh, and look at, I got nothing. I got, I got not nothing. I got the chariot. So this energy is moving. This is happening. We are, things are going to be happening. The new year is going to, this year coming up for you, I think is really going to be kind of that change maker year. And I think making sure to trust your intuition, so, so important. And if you are somebody that doesn't really lean into your intuition, start practicing now. Really, so like the silliest things, like what color am I going to wear today? Whatever color pops in your head, that's what you wear. Should I have hazelnut coffee or pumpkin spice coffee like start small and then work your way up to the bigger things right and that's really a great way to exercise your intuition because it's like a muscle and you have to keep using it hey Callie Ooh. so wow I have cards flipping out all over the place we're gonna go with this so all right cancer so we here we have the nine of swords. So this deck, you know, this deck is really, I kind of feel like just like a black and white version of the RWS. That's kind of what it is. So, um, Callie, or how, how are you? I, you know, I know you're, I know you're cancer. So I just called you out. It's happening. <laughs> I think it's definitely, um, I meant to say cancer and I said that. Um, so you're in my, you're in my brain spaces, Callie. It's happening. Um, I think for you cancers, it is releasing the worry. Um, and I, I really think that there are some things that are just not, you know, nagging at you and, um, cancer, it's time to release your emotion with these things here. Are you too? Oh, okay. Peggy. Oh, I got all the cancers in the house. Woo. Um, you know, and I think it's about releasing emotion, um, for this full moon and not holding on to these things because, you know, when we're worried about stuff and if we just feed that emotion to them, they just, they stick around. So it's time to like, psh, cut it off, let it go. It is what it is. Whatever's happened, happened. And it's time to just let it go. And I won't start singing Let It Go, even though in my head I am, but I, I won't punish you in that way. So, oh, look at how, like, that's very fitting. We got the hangman. So, cancers, time to take yourself down. Time to get off. Go hang around with a Gemini and go do something, whatever they're doing. That's wild and crazy and fun. Um, I think that's really what it's about. Just let it, let it go. All right, and that brings us to our Leo friends. All right, Leos.
All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, so we have here Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we have Nine of Pentacles, um, Leo. So I think for you, um, you know, it's almost like you have done so much this year. You've laid your groundwork down and it's now time to build on it. So I do feel that you need to release some expectation because it's not going to serve you. But I do feel like that it's time to really dig down and really start, um, you know, I feel like it's almost like, like the word that's popping in my head is like advertise. So not necessarily, you know, it, I guess it depends on what you do too, but not being afraid to put out, put yourself out there and making sure that what you have and what you do, maybe in a work-related way is seen. So maybe that means you need to kind of put a little bit more behind um, being seen in, in this way. I like it. No more holding back, Leos. Come on now. Shake that mane. All right. And look, we got the fool. So that's kind of fun. That's fun. So we got that fool car, you know, that fool. And again, it's, it's jumping into new energy. And I really think that's what's important. Hey, Pam. Um, I think that's what's important for you, Leo, is finding that new energy and stepping into it and doing your thing for sure. All right. So those of you who just joined us, um, if you'd like me to pull a card for you, use a little question mark bubble there. And also happy Krampus day. I'm showing, look, my sweater. I'm showing all of you. I'm just going to keep showing you my Krampus sweater because I love it so much. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see who we got here. Virgo. Look at you. Just in time, too, Pam. Wah! All right. All right, Virgo. We had a jumper. Oh, thank you. Um, so, Virgo, we have that two of swords. So, you know, again, I'm kind of focusing on the full moon and what to release. And I really think it's important for you to kind of decide what direction you're going in. I feel like that you're at a crosswords, crossroads, Virgo, and you can take things this way or you can take things that way. And I think, you know, take that blindfold off, put everything out on the table and really look at it and decide what it is that you want to do. Um, Because I do feel that there's a lot of you know, either way, I don't feel like it's going to be not successful, but also one way may be better than the other to avoid like burnout or just like, yeah, burnout, because that's what I'm getting with the swords, with air thoughts, all of that. So I think that's something to just kind of take into consideration and maybe, you know, releasing again for you too that expectation and really stepping it just into the energy of doing what you need to do and decide on one path and go with it instead of this like double life type thing. So I, I do think that um, that's something to think about and maybe something in that is what you need to release for the full moon. So, oh good, I like that. So, and the little charm I got were lovers. I love that my little button. So for lovers for this, I do think um, that it's all about doing what you love, loving what you do. Um, oh, you're very welcome. And doing what you love, loving what you do, and loving the people that are involved with it. Um, I do feel that, you know, also kind of checking that energy around you. And of course, right? checking the energy around you and just making sure that everything feels okay. And if it doesn't feel okay, think about changing that, maybe releasing thoughts about it, all of that for the full moon. That's on Wednesday. It's a Gemini full moon too, Pam. Pam's got a Gemini in her house as well. So we commiserate on our Geminis and all of their, their thinking and cleaning because both of our Geminis really like to clean like a lot. 
which I guess is good because it's not my favorite thing. I do the most cleaning when I'm stressed. So like if you walked into my house and it was spotless and I'm the one that cleaned it, you might want to tread carefully. <laughs> Because that means I'm stressed about something. <laughs> so if you go into my house, uh, oh, yeah, oh, I know, there's a big game on today. Um, so if you go into my house and it's, you know, I'm not dirty, but if it's just a little stuff around, then you know Jen's happy. But then if you know if you walk in and it's super clean, I'd be scared. <laughs> I'm just being honest with my friends, okay? That's all it's about. I'm just being honest. It's what it is. <laughs> all right, Libra. What do we got for you? Oh, really? Oh, they must have went into overtime. They go into overtime now. We're talking about soccer. 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 Wow. Soccer. Um, my kids are big soccer fans, so of course that makes me a soccer fan. And so we've been watching, watching it. But yeah, now that they're down to the like finals, they do overtime in soccer. All right, Libra. Ooh, Libra, the hermit. So Libras, I think for you, it's really, it is, you know, take advantage of this energy and go inside. And, you know, I feel like it's like inside job for you this week. You know, I think worrying about what everybody else is doing, forget about that, Libra. Don't worry about that. Worry about yourself and worry about how you're feeling and really maybe even just doing a cleanse, like do a cleansing bath or, um, you know, a smoke cleanse or a sound cleanse or just really go out, do some grounding if you can. Um, I think Libras, that's really what it is, is it really making sure that everything on the inside is good before you start moving into energy of the new year and what you want to do with it. Oh, my left palm is itchy. What does that mean? Doesn't the left mean that you're getting money? I don't care if it means that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm putting out there. All right. So ooh, we got the Hierophant. So I think that's really interesting, Libra, too, because as you're doing that hermit energy and you're going inside, maybe that means that you need to do some spiritual work. Maybe that means that whatever your practices are, you need to work on them or establish a new one, um, something like that. And which is really, you know, really funny because I do always say to Pam, I have to work on my morning practice. I don't, I was doing, I was so good at it and I kind of fell off of doing it and I haven't just really been super inspired to do it. But I think maybe too, maybe that's something like I need to work on with this full moon energy and, and kind of see why that's happening so I can move past that and work on, you know, build something new, right? Maybe I just need to scrap everything I'm doing and do it new as far as morning practice. That's it. All right. Let's say if you'd like me to pull a card for you, definitely um, put your question mark or put your question in the little question mark bubble. That's what I was trying to say. Try to say that 10 times fast. All right. So next we have our Scorpios and we have another. These cards are very jumpy. So Scorpio, we have the world. World. Um, I, you know, and I, I kind of like, I kind of like this for you, Scorpio, because it's one of those things. Like, I want you to realize that everything that you want is there. Um, it's in the world. It's there, but it's a matter of you going and out and getting it. So, you know, you kind of see how she's kind of in this little like braided. It seems like hair to me, but I don't think it's hair. We're going to just call it like straw or something. Oh, hi, Safira. Um, but so I kind of feel like for you, Scorpio, like you were like, yeah, you know what? There's things that I want and there's things that I want to do. So I need to step out of this little hay thing and start taking action to do it. So, um, you know, if there's something that's holding you back, Scorpio, if there's something that's keeping you from doing that, that's what you need to work on and let go of so that you can move forward. And we got the high priestess. So I feel like here, Scorpio, it's really time for you to trust your intuition and pay attention to it. Um, and 
you know, if there's, you know, also consulting like your guides or meditating, like getting up into that crown chakra, I feel like for you, Scorpio, because you like, you like to be in the deep depths of everything. Like, I feel like you like to float around kind of in that root chakra, right, Scorpio, but I want you to bring it up and I want you to start really thinking more in that energy so that you can make new plans for 2023 and move ahead. I'm accepting that. I take it. Whoa. God, with these cards, they're jumping all over it. All over, all over the place. All right. So, Sagittarius, we have the Five of Pentacles, um, which is a really interesting one for me, for this one, especially for you, Sag, because Sagittarius likes to keep moving, right? So, it's all about keeping that energy, you know, you're even though things may not go, be going the way you want right now, you still keep moving, right? You see these people in the picture. It's snowy. It's cold. They're just like, wah, you know, but they're still moving forward. They're still walking. So I really think like this is kind of your card to say, you know what? Whatever is not working for you, it's time to let it go and keep moving. Um, and really you can um, work on this in a way too that isn't so harsh like just take a little by little baby steps like these people are not taking big steps they're not jumping away they're taking little baby steps and i think that's what you need to do um oh crap uh where did i get this sweater it might have been fox blood or shoot one of those it is limited so once they're out they're out i don't know if they have any more but i would try there and thank you and if you go to our website um cardomancermagazine.com you can find out all about getting a subscription so um and the link is also in our bio here on instagram so if you go follow the link in our bio you will it'll take you right to where you need to go and um yeah and we, the subscriptions are limited too. We only have so many that we kind of put out in a year. So this is a time to do it because they're going to be running low soon. And then that's it. All right. Oh, wait. Let's see what we got for you, Sag. Oh, let's see. Oh, we got justice. So for me, like, I wish I could focus these a little bit better. Um, yeah, unfortunately our links don't hyperlink when we put them in the comments, but if you just go to our, um, link in our bio that is hyperlinked and we'll take you right there. Um, cause I don't even think you could copy and paste them in the comments either. It's so dumb. Why don't they let you do that? Ridiculous. So, um, justice card, you know, with this, I feel like things will work out. Like that's really what pops in my head, Sagittarius. Like, yeah, they aren't taking those baby steps, moving forward, you know, every, it may not feel like what, you know, it doesn't feel like it's working out right now, but it will work out in the end and you just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. So yeah. Oh, I didn't know that that worked. Okay. Really, if you just go to the link in the bio, it's easier. Um, so where does that bring us to Capricorns, our CEOs of the Zodiac? And I say that every week, and I don't know why. It just makes me happy. And I think we all should have at least one Capricorn in our lives just to keep us set us straight. All right, let's see. All right, Capricorn. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Um, This is really a good one Capricorn so what new action are you taking what actions are you leaving behind this year and what new actions are you going to take and I feel like Capricorn it's time to go big go big or go home right um and I feel like for you you know you're always planning something you always have something on the back burner now it's time to be like all right it's time to turn around grab something off that back burner and bring it forward it's time. So Capricorn, make plans. Start making plans. Start setting some actions into place and really harness that go, go, go energy um, because you're all about the planning. You're all about organizing and you can definitely make this happen. So to our 
you can soak the buttons. <laughs> it's so funny, right? Ooh, and I love that strength. So you know what, Capricorn? This is your reminder that you got this. You're strong. You have all the tools you need. You know what you need to do. Now you need to just go do it. Well, if that wasn't encouraging, I don't know what was. What could be, I suppose. All right, so let's see, Aquarius. I'm like, Capri, yeah, Capra Aquarius, there we go. <laughs> Whatever that may be. All right. I'm just thinking about Krampus today and how I, I'm gonna, I have to do something Krampus-like, but I don't have any small children to scare. Damn it, you know. <laughs> Oh, all right. Ooh, Capricorn moon. Ooh, I like that. That's a that's a, a very interesting mix too, Peggy. You're like getting it done. All right. So, all right, Aquarius. What do we got here? Ba -ba -da. Seven of Swords. I feel like we had a lot of sevens today. Today, didn't we? We did. We got a lot of sevens today. So, <sighs> Aquarius. So you have the seven of swords here and it's all about taking what you need and leaving what you don't need. Um, you know, and I love, we had a lot of sevens and a lot of swords today, right? So, which is so fitting with this full moon in Gemini, right? It's very interesting how that all works out. Um, so seven of swords. So I really think that there is, you know, there is stuff that you want to bring into thoughts and, and ideas into the next year. But I do feel like I'm going with that too. There's two things for you, Aquarius, that you need to let go of. And whatever pops in your head when I say that, write them down because those are the things you need to release. Now that brings us to here. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. So... You know, it's all about what comes around, goes around. So by releasing that stuff and letting go of those two things, when stuff comes back around, it won't involve you. It will have nothing to do with you. And you can just let it keep going on the wheel. See you later. Goodbye. I like it. And then that brings us to our Pisces. Oh, Pisces. So that we are getting down to the end of the Zodiac too. So if you want me to pull a card for you, put it in the question mark bubble. Um, like we were just saying before, if you are interested in getting a winter issue or a subscription, which are both limited, um, make sure that you go to the link in our bio when we are done here. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to shuffle them and they're like going all wonky. What is happening, cards? They're being all crazy. All right. <clears throat> oh, I love this. Page of Cups, Pisces. And it's a Pisces. We got the fish. We got cups. It's wonderful. So for me, this is really speaking to self-care. I want you, Pisces, to go do something nice for yourself. And whatever makes you feel good, that's what I want you to do. And if there's some resistance in doing that, like if you're like, oh, I'm so busy, I can't take time for myself, I can't do that, that's what you need to release. That's what you need to let go because you need to schedule an appointment, go get a pedicure, go get a manicure, go get your hair done, just go roam around TJ Maxx or Target or whatever. Um, but I do feel like that it's time for you to make some time for yourself. And again, if that's hard for you, that's it. You need to release that. Release that, you know, feeling of, I, I can just wait. I can just wait. I can just wait because you need to fill your cup. And I think Pisces, because you are always so deeply empathetic towards others that that is easily, easily can happen for you. Like, oh, let me worry about everyone else and I'll get to myself. No, Pisces. No. It's time for you to do you. All right. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we have the devil. Look at that guy. So, Pisces. Again, that I feel like that's that that energy might pop up for you. Like, oh, if it's selfish if I do something for myself. 
Uh, again, like if I don't take this time off to do something for myself, I could be doing something for somebody else. And that's what I should be doing. No, no, no. No excuses here. No excuses here, Pisces. <laughs> so, yes, we have gotten through the whole Zodiac. We did it. Um, if someone wants a card, this is your last chance before we're done here today. And, um, you know, I hope you have, I hope you have a good full moon. I think everybody just, it's always good to just take some time and just sit with that energy and see how it feels for you. And even if you don't feel like you have anything you need to release, just doing some deep breaths, just like letting it go in that way, just regular, just energy, just sitting there. And you could do that anywhere. You could be sitting in your car. You can go outside. You could be just in your bed when you wake up in the morning. But I do think that everybody just take a couple breaths for me. That's what I want you to do. That is your challenge. Should you accept it? So I will see you back next week. Same time and place. And um, definitely hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for hanging out with me.